This week we're looking at a poem called How to Write the Great American Indian Novel by Sherman Alexie um, for the dates of should actually be the 16th for 3 BD and for 1 AC March 18th uh, you'll want to complete the Pear Deck assignment that'll help you comprehend the great How to Write the Great American Indian Novel, identifying stereotypes found in white American culture including literature, and identify the use of tone and repetition in the poem and analyze the meaning and impact of the poetic devices. So I just want to remind you from the speech that we watched called The Danger of a Single Story by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. She stated that the single story creates stereotypes and the problem with stereotypes is that they are not untrue but that they are incomplete. They make one story become the only story. And that is one of the ideas of Sherman Alexie's poem that we're going to read today. Um, in the poem, he talks about stereotypes of Native Americans in uh, the great American Indian novel, as he says, but also uh, he's kind of talking about stereotypes in American culture in general. So the first thing that you're going to do is um, look at slide five or six, depending on your class. Um, we have a list of what you all said you know about Native Americans on our last assignment. So check that out, and then based on that information, you're going to answer one of the questions on slide 7. So based on the brainstorm list, you'll answer one of the five questions uh, below. Where have you been told this information? Who is telling you this? Are there any vested interests or bias? What are you not being told, and what are the implications of this information? It's just uh, some critical thinking questions before you start reading. After you finish that question on the Paradox, you're going to transition away from the Paradox and read the text, How to Write the Great American Indian Novel. I'll just give you a quick summary that uh, the author conveys the harsh reality of how Native Americans are depicted through the eyes or stereotypes of the white world, including in movies or in novels. And I just use that term white world in quotes because it's just the easiest term to use. So Native Americans only make up 1% of our society, of our American, of our nation, is what I'm trying to say. Um, however, they are highly depicted in literature and movies. So some quotes that you all said, things that you knew about Native Americans were, they help nature and not, and they don't destroy it. They perform rituals and spiritual ceremonies around bonfires. They've developed the ability to ride horses professionally. So I noticed when I was looking at the list, a lot of times people were referring to Native Americans in the past tense as if they don't still exist. And also they are sort of perpetuating uh, this image of Native Americans from the past rather than um, discussing maybe what they know about Native Americans presently. And a lot of that does come to us through movies or popular culture. So you're going to listen to or read and annotate the poem, How to Write the Great American Indian Novel. Since you weren't in class, you'll just have to uh, read it to yourself. There are some questions on that document. So when you get to Canvas, you go to the modules. And you'll open up this How to Write the Great American Indian Novel Full Text and Notes. And you'll see there's like a side by side. So it says as you listen, or in this case as you read, highlight and take notes on the following. So there's three questions. What stereotypes, according to the author, are perpetuated in the Great American Indian Novel? What words are repeated in the poem? And what are they meant to emphasize? And then is the author being sarcastic or serious? And how do you know? So the right-hand column is just a place for you to take any notes you need to, and then you can highlight using the highlight tool up top here. Let me get back to my correct slideshow. Uh, when you finish reading, you'll go through and answer the questions in the Pear Deck. So return to the Pear Deck. And then there is this clip for you to view that is meant to give you a better understanding. So there's some visuals with the poem. You can hear the poem a second time. And then you'll answer, like, what could you better understand after the second reading? And then finally, a reflection, formative assessment. Um, so, yep, your assessment for today is the Paradox. So make sure you use that link on slide 
four to get to that paradox.